Hello, welcome to Hot Plate. I'm your chef here. It's Chef Boy Rick. How y'all doing? Nice to meet everyone. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm cooking from home and actually showing a lot of people how to cook who cannot cook. And I mean cook nothing. Just can't cook worth a damn. But don't worry, though. I'm gonna learn you. I'm gonna learn you. I'm gonna learn you. I'm gonna get you caught up. Today we're gonna do something simple. We're gonna do some burgers. You know, some some simple. Can't cook burgers, man. Just just you really can't cook. So I'm gonna really help you with that. You know? That's sad. But it's okay. As long as you wanna learn, we got you. I already washed my hands, if y'all wondering, I already, I already washed my hands. Mm -hmm. Sanitary first. Here with my turkey meat. If y'all also want to like what I like to use, you know, I got the George Foreman grill. Sorry. <laughs> got a deep fryer. So, a couple seasonings I like to use. Season this off for one. Black pepper for two. Got a couple different kinds of black pepper. Got the lemon pepper. And a little bit of garlic, a little bit of garlic. So basically, you know, take turkey meat. Hands a little dirty, get your hands a little dirty, you know? Put some love in. Put your little seasoned salt on it. First with the seasoned salt. Don't dump too much. A little black pepper and a little spice. Put a little garlic in it. A little flavor. A little flavor. Not too much though. Because garlic is very, very strong. So, not too much garlic. You know, top it all off. Alright. So, let's just see and see. So, basically, what you do, go ahead and mash it. Mash it up. Make sure the seasoning all good and, you know, into a pattern. Now, some of my family members like to, you know, make a little fun of me because I like kind of perfect patties, in my opinion, certain size. You know, you can make big patties. Now, I got a brother who, who make Mondo burgers, real Mondo burgers, no lie. You know what I'm saying? See, see? Perfect pattern. Perfect pattern. I'll do another one the same way. Same way, or at least try to, you know. At least try to. <laughs> see how I can see it? Perfect pattern. Like I said, you can make some small, make some big. 
I know what you got. Shit. Yeah, you could put peppers in it, onions in it. I'm not really too much of a fan of the peppers and onions and burgers. But you can, it's your preference. You know, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and let them two patties cook on the grill real quick. Shout out to George Farmer too, man. One of the best inventions he made was that George Farmer grill. Salute that man very much on that George Farmer grill. I, I, I use it pretty much every day. Especially when I cook. Especially for burgers. Basically, a simple way of how to make a burger. Quick home burger from home. Now, next, we also got our fries. So, I actually have a deep fryer. You can make them on the stove if you like. One day, I'll make them on the stove to show you the little difference between an actual fryer and an actual stove. Let you know, it should be about 340. It's pretty good, 340 degrees, no more than You only want to cook for a few minutes. Nice little golden brown. Then we're going to go ahead and show y'all what the actual burger is looking like right now. So, that's the burgers. That's what it's coming out looking like. You know. So, and this is also, like I was saying, for people who are diabetic, you know, just try to not go so hard on the seasonings and lighten up uh, a lot on the seasonings. Me, I, I like to eat a little bit sometimes, so so it's always okay to do it a little time, a little bit, sometimes, sometimes, not all the time, just a little bit sometimes. And this is what the turkey burgers end up turning out. As you see, we still got the fries cooking, but as you see, you see them changing. Wait till they turn a little golden brown. And there go the fries. Now, this is the turkey. Add a little of that lemon pepper on it. A little bit of that seasoning on it. And don't forget the pepper. Never forget the pepper. Good. You don't need a lot because it's already a lot of seasoning as it is. And look, this is even okay for people who are. This is even okay for people who are diabetic. Don't get me wrong. I am a diabetic person, so I understand what your struggles. I understand what you go through, and I understand. Thanks for tuning in to Hot Plate. Appreciate it. It's Derek Hunter here, and we out. You niggas, same bitch, fuck you, set your ass up, nigga. See, my mama told me as a young and watch these hoes, and my granny told me all these hoes won't go. When my uncles taught me how this pimp game goes, so I don't know how to love, and my heart cold. And I can't deal with it. A shot of ENJ, help me focus on the riches and the smoke, and my lungs, nigga, help me cope. 
And I got real friends, I don't fuck with foes I'm fortunate to have a mother who a hard to go I'm fortunate to turn a diamond out a lump of coal I'm fortunate to fuck these dying bitches on the road I'm fortunate to win, cause you know that I'm a pro I've got a good foundation, cause I came up Give it to people without houses. I've got a good foundation, cause I came.